In Premiere Pro or video editing, you need to trim the clips a lot, right? That is a very boring task. Today, I'm going to show you how you can trim the clip very easily like a ninja in Adobe Premiere Pro. So here you can see I have already imported a face cam video and I want to trim the unusable part and the pauses, right? So here, if I play it back, you can see there are some pauses. So to delete the pauses, what we usually do, we take the playhead on that point and then we select the razor tool, then make a trim here, then take the playhead on the next part and make again a trim. Then we select the selection tool, delete this part, then press delete on keyboard. Then we right click here, then click refill delete, right? That is a very, very boring task. So let's see how you can do it in a much efficient way and much faster way, right? So I'm just undoing all the edits. First, you need to prefer the timeline to do it efficiently. First, you can see I cannot see the audio waveform properly. To make the audio waveform bigger, you can just double click here on the timeline. It will make the waveform bigger, right? I don't like this audio waveform preview. This is a rectified audio. So to disable rectified waveform preview, you need to click here. Then you have to disable rectified waveform. If you click here, that will change the audio waveform. I like this preview a lot. Now we can start working. First, what you can do, if you want to make a trim, just go there, maybe from here. Then you have to press Ctrl, then K. It will make a trim point on that exact point where you have left the playhead, right? Then go to the next point, maybe here. Then you can press Q on your keyboard. That will trim that section and it will ship the clip on your website, right? So that is a much faster way. Again, if you want to delete this section, go there and then press Ctrl, then K and then press Q to delete this section. If you want to delete this part, maybe you have made a cut here and you want to delete this part, right? Now you have to press W on your keyboard that will delete this section. So that is a much faster way to make it a little bit convenient. What you can do, you can change the keyboard shortcut. I have found Control and K is not a perfect keyboard combination for that purpose because of the distance of these two keys. So let's modify the keyboard shortcut. You need to go to edit menu, then you have to click keyboard shortcut, click there and you'll see this panel, right? And from here, you have to change the keyboard shortcut of add edit. If you press control, then you can see the keyboard shortcut is set to K. So to change the keyboard shortcut, you need to search for the action that you want to change. I want to change add edit. Then you can see add edit keyboard shortcut is control plus K. If you want to change this one, then you have to click here. Then you have to click on this cross icon and now click again here. Now if you press any of the key on your keyboard, that will register the action, right? I want to change to C on my keyboard. If I press C, that will change to C and you'll see it will show the shortcut C is already used by another application result tool, right? But I don't want to use the result tool as my keyboard shortcut as I'm using the keyboard shortcut add edit so don't worry about it now let's change add edit to all tracks if you want to trim multiple track at once then you need to use this one so again click here then click cross then click again and now if you press shift and c it will register as add edit to all tracks now you can click ok and from now if you want to trim any section go there then press c that will make a trim point there then press Q that will delete this section right again press C and delete then C and maybe you want to delete this pause then you can press Q if you want to delete maybe this section from this section now you can press W that will delete this section so that is a much easier way to trim the clips in Adobe Premiere Pro you can use this thing to trim the clips like a pro so that is all for today I hope you have enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up and if you need this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more video just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye